Hey yo guys, my name is Percival and welcome back to the virtual world. Today we're finally going to be continuing our V-Roid tutorial and we're going to be focusing on the body editor and how to import things into V-Roid. Also just want to say there's a, um, there's a mistake on the schedule I posted as tomorrow we're going to be going over the clothing, not general and export. So the body editor is very similar to the face editor. We have a design tab where you can change the parameters of the body, such as your model's height or how big the individual limbs are, and a texture tab where you can change the textures of the model. As you can see, we're in the design tab at the moment, so let's start with that. With the design tab, we can choose what part of the body we want to isolate and what changes we want to make to it. So if I go into a whole body, I can change the height. So as you can see, I can make it shorter, I can make it taller. Or if I go into head, if I can change like the size of the head and like if I want to make it bigger, boom. Or if I want to make it smaller, boom. Neck length, everything like that. Use this to tune your character's body to the way you want it to be. Next we get into texturing. Again, like the face editor, we have two ways of texturing our character. Either by using the model itself, or we can use the UV map. Personally, I like to use the UV map, as I feel that you can do more fine tuning with it. But if you feel like it's easier to use the actual model, go for it. Now, as we can see, my um, model has been very edited. Yes. <laughs> Um, none of these belong to me actually, um, I've all, I've all imported these from Booth because I really fucking like um, the textures on them, so I'll make sure to link those in the description. Let's take a look at what a clean texture looks like. So this is the original texture, and while I feel it is serviceable, I feel like it's best to change it, so let's get going into that. And since I'm not very experienced with changing body textures, because um, I, I, all I've been doing with my body textures is literally importing things from a booth. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you guys how to import different textures into Vroid. So I usually use booth for all my different textures. Um, booth is really good for finding different clothing and textures. Here I'm going to be using a texture by Aragama Witch since I know those textures are okay to be used in videos. And I'll be sure to link the texture and her channel in the description. Um, just make sure if you are going to be using this for VTubing, make sure it says in like the description of the product that it's okay to be used on Twitch or YouTube. So now we're just going to go download that. So we're going to take the pale one. As we can see, it usually comes in a raw file. So we're going to, what we're going to do is we're going to open a file, go to a file we like. So I'm going to go to my VRM file. Then we go, then I made a face and body preset. Then open that up. Where is it? Let's see here. So now we've got our two, here's a raw file and here's the file folder. So all, all we're going to do, we're just going to drag and drop that in here cool we're done now and we can go back to vroid so now that we've got in the file we like all we need to do now is create a new layer right click on that layer and we see import so we'll click on that take the um go to your vrm like wherever you saved it and then we go here double click it boom let's change and we can also do that for anything else so if we go to the face textures um face skin layer create a new layer and then import same thing here, we double click, and boom, we've got new textures. Hope you guys enjoyed the video today, and thank you so much for checking it out. I'm gonna log off now guys, so I'll see you guys in the next video.